Excavators are used primarily to dig material below the natural surface of the ground. They use diesel engines to drive hydraulic pumps, motors, and cylinders that in turn activate the motions of digging and loading materials. Excavators are sometimes referred to by many names such as hoe, backhoe, or back shovel. Hoes are a good choice for excavating trenches, pits for basements, or hillsides where reach is needed. The downward swing of a hoe generally dictates excavating below the running gear. The first component of an excavator is a base mounted on tracks or wheels that swivels 360 degrees. Crawler tracks are best on soils and soft ground so that the excavator remains stable. They are also ideal on rocky surfaces where sharp edges may puncture or produce excessive wear on tires. But with crawler tracks, movement around the job site is slow and limited. Excavators with tracks move at a slow walking speed and require a trailer to transport from job to job. The advantage to a rubber tire excavator is more mobility on the job site and the possibility of self-transport from job to job. Another component is the boom, and from the boom, a stick is attached. Sticks come in a range of lengths. Utility contractors typically attach longer sticks for greater digging of depths in trenches. The hoe can develop high penetration forces with the action of hydraulic cylinders. The maximum force and ability to break material loose is best when drawing the stick in and curling the bucket. This arcing action defines the digging envelope of the boom and stick. A bucket or other attachment is fastened to the end of the stick with a device known as a quick coupler. This allows for interchanging attachments in a matter of seconds. It is important because it allows the excavator to perform multiple tasks on the same job. Here on a sewer pipe project, a bucket is changed in just a few seconds. Buckets are the most common attachment to the stick. Buckets should be selected based on the material being excavated. By matching the bucket width and bucket tip radius to the resistance of the material, you can take full advantage of the hose potential. For easily excavated materials, a wide bucket should be used. In utility work, the width of the required trench may be an important consideration. When excavating rocky material or blasted rock, a narrow bucket with a short tip radius is best. Smooth bucket edges are best with softer, loose material, while teeth should be used with rocks and tougher soils. In order to operate the excavator, the operator uses joysticks to move the boom, stick, and bucket. Hoes have many different specialized attachments for individual job applications. They have evolved from a single-purpose excavating machine into a versatile, multi-purpose tool. It is a base platform designed for many different job applications. Here, an impact hammer uses hydraulic pulses to break rock into smaller sizes. There are several important planning tools to consider for selecting a hoe on a project. Maximum excavation depth required. Maximum working radius for digging and dumping. Maximum dumping height for loading into trucks and hoisting capability when handling pipe and trench boxes. The production of a hoe is typically measured in cubic yards per hour. Production rate is determined from the bucket payload and time to complete a cycle. Bucket payload is the heat bucket load volume in cubic yards and the ability to fill the bucket known as the fill factor. Bucket volume is found from the manufacturer's data sheets or actual field measurements. Fill factor is based on the type of machine and the class of material being excavated. Rock or frozen material has a lower fill factor of about 60 to 80 percent, while easy digging in earth may have a fill factor of 100 or even 110 percent. Here the fill factor is about 80 percent. Peak cycle time is also important in determining the production rate. Cycle times are a function of machine size, angle of swing, and the depth or height of cut. Cycle times include the time to dig, swing, dump, and swing back. The normal range for cycle times is about 25 to 45 seconds. Lower cycle times can increase production. These machines are a good choice for excavating material on most job sites. They are very versatile and can excavate trenches, pits for building foundations, or simply break up rocks.